Okay, hello friends and followers. So, this is the relay under the switch. I think it's RL05 or RL06, one of those. This is the one that was bad in my FT102. So, two contacts, two contacts, six contacts. Let's try and get them out. I'm just going to use a solder sucker here. The camera might actually be in the way for me to angle in here. Eh, maybe not. So they're saying to use solder wick, but eh. Let's see. Yeah, it's right in the camera view here. Well, it did a pretty good job. I hate solder wick, actually. It really seems like it destroys the board. That came right out. And sometimes you want to reflow these with more solder to kind of yank out the rest. It'll form a contiguous ball of solder and it all comes flying out. So, tricks of the trade. But with the board out of the radio, it's a lot easier to work on it in a relaxing way instead of being stressed out. That doesn't look too good, but hey. All right, two more to go. And we'll see if this thing will come out. That one didn't even go. Must have missed it. There we go. Came right off. Okay, one more. Yep, so those look pretty clean. Now I can probably get a screwdriver under that thing and pry off the relay. Let's see if it'll work. And how can I show you that? I don't have a high enough stand for my camera. I'll use this flashlight here as a stand. And we can watch together what's going on here. that for a stand, huh? All right. Where's Mr. Evil Relay? So when you're taking these all off, sometimes you can look at the uh, board and see if the pins are loose and try and shove the pins around to get it to come loose. So here's the pins here. And boy, it's loose. So that one came loose. That one didn't. It's kind of loose. Let's see, this one. Loose. Well, it's a loose goose. So this relay may pop right out. Let's see if it will. Need some more light. Screwdriver under the relay. Okay, so the left side is loose and coming out. The right side has issues. Well, looks like it's out. So there's the relay. And now we just kind of drop it out. All right, so that wasn't so bad, was it? There's a little tiny relay right there. Now, did the one I buy, is it the same thing? 
So there's the actual holes where it goes, and I'm wondering, can I get a socket in there? I guess not. Let's put the phone back where it was on top of the radio here. Let's see what we got. Oh, the flashlight hit the floor. So, I don't have good lighting in here, that's for sure. Okay, there's a relay very clearly. The holes of it, there's no holes on top at all. It's too bad I can't get a, a socket in there, huh? I couldn't really clear that thing. Well, let's see if a new relay would go in there, eh? Let's go find one. Back on the other desk. All right, 24 volt relay. There's the old one. There we go. Old one. New one. They look compatible. I hope they are. I hope this really isn't junk. It says Omron, but is it a Chinese coffee? You know what I mean? <sighs> Who knows? It doesn't say Omron. Oh, this is a Fujitsu, supposedly. But it doesn't say Fujitsu on it. I almost want to open this thing up and see what's in it. Let's see if it's any good. Well, how good was this one? All right, so. We're gonna put this thing in. How well will it fit? Let's figure out where it went. That's where it went, as you can see, right there. So, could it just go right back in there? Let's just see here. The two pins go out. Just shove it in and see if it'll displace itself. Well, already the band switch knob is in the way. Okay, it's, now it's going in somewhat. But not so well. So it looks like the, uh, the little cuff thing there is screwing us up. The little transmission gizmo there is not helping. I would rather not take that off, but I probably have to. All right, so I don't think it's going to go in without that piece coming off. The Allen screw is where. Looking for the Allen screw. It's on the bottom, of course. All right, so we know where that mark is. Yikes, I hate doing this. Oh, I don't really want to turn that thing. Can I get it in without messing with that? If I bent the back legs down, I could probably get it in. But then how do I bend the back legs up? All right, I'm gonna turn this around so I can see it clearly and not be camera friendly. How did this one come out? Because the lid's off it.
All right, the camera-friendly view. And of course, there's no light in here at all. Here's my light source. That's a little better. There, you can see it somewhat. Now, can I just waggle this in there somehow? Yeah, maybe. Okay, yeah, it'll go in. If you, if you just use two hands, you can kind of push it in sideways like that. Can you see how it's going in like that? It's going in sideways like that. And then we'll try to set it down. It's going in. Okay, no, I don't think I can rotate it down to uh, sit. Nope, that's not going to work. At all. Can I take the switch apart? Maybe. I could probably take these out and get it in that way. If I take this round coupler off would taking the round coupler off be more beneficial or a waste of time so if i had a small plastic relay that was with a cap on it i could take the cap off and slide it in to put the cap back on perhaps so that's not gonna go you know, you know what else I thought though was this thing seems symmetrical almost. It's like, can I put it on the bottom? I don't know the contacts would be symmetrical, but could put a socket on the bottom of this thing and put it like that. I'm not sure if it hit the board below, but that is pretty cool. Wouldn't have to deal with taking it apart anymore like this. All right, so I'm thinking if we take off that coupler, will that help us? Heaven help me. Okay, if we're taking the coupler off, I can see my alignment marks here. So I'm going to add another alignment mark. If I can find the uh, pencil here. Looking for the pencil. The Sharpie. And I'm going to add one more alignment mark on this thing. So, let's get this thing going. And that thing is straight up, and that's how I left it, I think. But I'm not sure that's true. And no, it's not true. But at any rate, let's get the coupler in sync with that shaft. So I'm going to sharpen it right here. That looks nice and accurate, doesn't it? So those all line up now. And now we can try to take that coupler off and slide the relay on. I just hope it's not a Chinese relay. Jeez, all this work. Some junk relay. All right. Let's go on the bottom here and take off this coupler. There's the Allen screw there. I'm just going to take the coupler off. Yeah, 
Okay, and I can't reach the screw, so I'm going to mark where I am here on the board. There. So now we have marks for everything. And perhaps I can line this back up. So let's rotate it now. It kind of clicks there. There's the uh, Allen screw there. Take it off. Will that fit? No. I had another one here, but it's probably lost. Because I'm not organized and things are laying where they lay. And I don't see it anywhere. And it might be on the floor. So I think our video is uh, over. Because I've lost the 1.5 key I need to get in here. It's not here. Nope, there it is. Yay! Okay, there's the 1.5 key. Let's get this guy out. Well, that wasn't very tight. Okay, interestingly, that is on the, uh, that's on the shaft. Look at that. So, let's make a note of that, of where that goes. That goes right there. That's where the Allen screw went. Okay, and with the coupler off now, we can try our relay again. Here's the relay here, and you can see, are they about the same tallness? Let's see. Yep, they're about the same height as before, so that should go in. Let's see if we can get this guy to go in here now, guy, gal, whatever this thing is, and it. Yep, goes right in, huh? Should plunk down there. Sorry, I just can't really do it with the camera. I'm trying just to get it to go here. And it's almost too tall. So what I'm finding is I would probably need to cut some of the uh, pad, some of the legs off to get it to go down into here. It's a bit too tall. It's not going to work. I need to. I need to loosen up this collar. Okay. Well, we're getting to dangerous ground here. Can I loosen up this collar successfully? The collar has little bolts or nuts. How does it work? It's like when you loosen this up, will it explode? All right, well, let's try. Because we're on a roll here, right? So, there's the collar, switch collar. Let's try to get it to 
loosen a bit and try to get some fractional advantage to get this thing in. Okay, camera. Okay, I'm going to try and loosen this one up here. And note how tight it is. Is it loosening? Can't tell. How about this one? Yep, that made it sound. Okay, those are definitely coming out of their bolts. They must have some captive bolts on the other side. So let's get this out of here a little bit. Now, did that move me fractionally that I can move this thing around a bit? No, it didn't buy me anything, did it? So that is not favorable at all. Boy, I almost want to put this thing in the bottom, you know? Forget about this top side here. So that about goes in now. Let's see. Let's try and just shove it in there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna cut a fraction off these pins. I'm gonna cut off a little bit. Because that will give us a little bit of an advantage. Just a tad. All right, so let's not go crazy on this. We're going to cut off just a tiny bit. Let's see how we do. Just a tiny bit. Okay, you see what I did there? Let's get this one. Just not too much. And now they're a little shorter, not by a lot. Might be enough. Let's squeeze it in now. And this will change probably vendor to vendor who make these things. This is supposedly for a Fujitsu relay, but who knows what it is. Okay, now let's see if it'll go in there. It's gotta go under there. I think it's gonna work now. It looks like it is. Yep, it will work. I think I just gotta angle it right. Maybe not. Looks like I'm off by a few millimeters. So is this really even the right size? It seems like it's not going to go. Is anything in? Nope. Let's get some players or something that can help us get this thing wedged in there. Something with some authority. Do I have any? Yes, I do. All right. 
Let's try this. And no, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, that is in there. It's not hitting the holes yet. Okay, that's looking favorable. It has to go back another millimeter, but it might work. And how about down here? I don't see it working down there too well. Well, it's funny how I get this whole board out and this becomes a pain. Really, it might be too big a bit for fitting in there. Let's yank it back out. Okay, yank it out. Let's do a comparison again. Old versus new. Of course, I can't find the old one. Here it is. Old one. New one. Okay, here's the new one here. <clears throat> so, the usual Chinese parts, right? Yeah, it looks like it's just a touch too long by a fraction of a millimeter, which is unfortunate for me. Probably is a Chinese knockoff. It's pretty darn close. So I could probably sand that off or something, I would think. So how much of that's in contact with this switch? How much? So the switch has little contacts back there that are going to hit against it. Yeah, I can see why now the switch has to get pulled out. And even then, can you get it back in there? Kind of ridiculous. I'm not sure how people replace this thing when this board's in the radio. That would be really hard. Unless my relay is bad. Bad size. So I'm going to bend the pins on this thing a bit more. Toward the front. Because I think they got bent a little bit. So we'll bend these in so they catch sooner. Okay, they're bent in a little bit. Now, let's see what that will do. Yeah, it goes in fine, seemingly. Look in the bottom, see if the pins show up. Can I see the bottom here? Okay. 
Okay, we just gave it another good shove and it isn't showing pins in the bottom yet. Sorry, I'm off camera here. Just kind of getting frustrated here. Well, that made a bad noise, but it went in, I think. The back went in. Did the front go in? No, the back went in fine. So it's all about the front. Did they go in or not? The back ones went in. Pressing on the front. I don't think they lined up. Maybe it will go in. I think one is in and one is not in the front. Yep. So, it will go in if you just coerce it and are careful with it. Get the back, I wanna get the front down taken out and try and get the back in a little further, the back two pins. And I absolutely can't go any further. And I don't feel like the back's coming in. Let's take it back out, see what happened. Probably gonna end up wrecking this relay, getting it in and out. Okay, so what happened here? Looks like the back pins got bent up a bit. Those got bent too. Probably shouldn't even use this relay. But they seem like they're still on pretty good. All right, I'm gonna stop the video. I don't think this is really helping anybody. I'm not making good progress, so. Be careful which relays you buy because these are supposedly Fujitsu and they're not going too well. Thanks for watching, have a great day.